Hey, I'm Carlos Villa from National Magnet Lab, and this is the Magnet Exploration Box. Let's open this up and see what's inside. So right away, the first thing you're going to notice are these 10x magnifying loops. They're called the private eye. These are great for the kids to use and just explore and look at the world around us. One of the things that we like to talk about the Magnet Lab is how science is an exploration activity. It's a matter of looking at the world around you, asking a question, and then finding out that answer. And one of the ways we do that, of course, is by looking at things closely. Microscopes, electron microscopes, those are things that we use here at the lab. Um, but the private eye is a 10x magnifying loop. So what the kids will actually do is put their eye up to the closed end over here and then whatever it is that they're going to look at is going to go underneath on the inside of there. So this is the open end and whatever it is that they're looking at is they're going to want to get right up on top of it. So looking at the loop like this is not going to do anything. They're actually going to need to get directly on top of what it is that they're looking at and then you'll be able to pick out the details like so. So this is a 10x magnifier. Looking at your hand you should be easily be able to pick out your fingerprints just by looking at the tops of your fingers. Um, so this is a 10, 10x loop for the kids to explore with. We've also got here a set of blo uh, balls and these are called the happy sad balls and I'll tell you why. Though they're identical and though they feel the same, same shape, same size, same color, um, they're actually not the same. One of these is a little bit more dense than the other and if you're very careful you can start to feel that as you hold them. If you drop them on the floor you will definitely notice the difference. I'll let you explore with these and see how they can um, easily be confused but it's one of these activities where the kids will think they're exactly the same until you do a little bit more elaborate testing of them. Rolling them, dropping them, um, these are some of the ways that you'll be able to tell the difference between these two. So those are the happy sad balls. In here we've got some spare uh, marbles. These are magnetic and these are for the kits that are down in the bottom of this box. You've got your red and blue magnets and we use these of course so that the kids can see north and south and see that north and south are going to attract. And of course south and south or north and north are going to repel from each other. So these are good at showing the kids that there are two poles to every magnet and they can attract or repel depending on how they are arranged. In here we've got um, extra square magnets also for the boxes that are in, this, uh, in the bottom part of this box. And we also have these donut magnets so these are also in there. These are extra parts for the kits that are in the bottom. This is a cow magnet. And this cow magnet is very interesting because this is something that farmers use to help keep their cattle actually safe. And what happens is that cattle may be out in the field and they will chew on baling wire or maybe some uh, metal fell off of a tractor or a storm blew in some metal. Um, cows will chew on these and if that metal goes through their digestive systems that could seriously hurt them, uh, make them sick or even kill them. So a cow magnet actually is put into the cow's first stomach it's heavy enough that it sinks to the bottom and it just kind of sits there until a piece of metal gets chewed, attracts to the magnet and will actually stay on the magnet and not pass through the rest of the digestive system of the cow. Uh, you got to remember that cows actually have four stomachs so this will stay in the first stomach and protect the rest of the cow from damage. All right, let's see what else is in here. So these are the boxes that we use to give the kids to allow them to explore magnetism and make a lot of those discoveries about attraction and repulsion on their own. I like to tell the kids what attraction is, what repulsion is, but I don't use those words until the kids actually feel how those forces interact with each other. So if I pull out one of these boxes at random, you're going to see that they are mostly there are enough materials in here for two kids to actually share. So you've got two wand magnets and these are actually some of the stronger magnets that you'll have. You've got the square magnets that I showed you. You've got the donut magnets that I showed you earlier. You've got the marble magnets that I also showed you earlier. And this is just a matter of letting the kids explore and see what happens, how they interact with each other. Feel that attraction but also feel that repulsion uh, from these magnets and you can feel those forces working on each other which is really nice. Now this is a box here that's filled with actual um, iron filings and the kids will look at this and I've heard all sorts of answers when I ask what's inside of this. Uh, I've heard them tell me dirt, sand, even hair. Uh, but what's actually inside here is actually small particles of iron and I always like to say how do you know that? And the kids will always say well if you put the magnet up to it, it does this. And you can see that the magnet is actually grabbing and pulling 
the iron from one side to the other. In fact, it attracts so well that it'll actually hold the box through the plastic upside down. Now, one of the other things I like to show the kids is that just like the plastic doesn't block the magnetic field, we do not block a magnetic field. So if you put a magnet up to your hand and hold it upside down, the magnet will still attract upside down through, um, through your hand. Now if I turn this upside down, it's going to repel and something very interesting happens. Watch this. Every time you turn the magnetic field, that magnet is repelling instead of attracting and that actually allows the magnet to dance, if you will, um, something the kids have a lot of fun with. All right, that is the Magnet Exploration Kit. If you have any questions, go ahead and contact us. Thank you very much.